everyone, Nancy here with you today to show you my newest Button Farm Club book. I'm calling this one, <clears throat> excuse me, Into the Woods. Um, it's done with Stamperia Forest Paper. And as you probably know, my designs are exclusive to the Button Farm Club. So let me show you the cover of the book first of all got lots of detail with a banner on a branch and the cover is made so that it becomes a bit of a shadow box. I don't know if you can see that detail but it is popped up. The spine has ribbon that is included with your kit. <coughs> Excuse me and um, we're wrapping the spine in ribbon and then you will have a um, little bit of a chipboard here with beautiful deer image okay and we'll open the book to the inside front cover and this has a side pocket i've included a well, you will cut this. Obviously, it's with uh, cardstock, but uh, either a photo mat or you can use it as a photo mat on the front and then write um, your journaling on the back. An envelope. Uh, we fussy cut a little bit here to give the envelope some personality and then inserted this forest trees tag with the fox. And I've put a lot of different envelopes into this book so that on your walk through the park or the woods, you can start collecting things and add them to the book. I think this would be really fun to take children on a walk and have them recognize certain leaves or collect acorns or whatever they love. Even heart-shaped rocks I think would be way cool. I've also included some stamped images from Tim Holtz that I thought would be really cool in this book too. Okay, page number one is a pocket with two tags and some ephemera that's a chipboard ephemera from the kit. And on this one, look at that image, isn't that pretty? An eagle and then a bird's nest. I think these are really cool. On this particular one, and I point this out in your directions, this whole piece of paper is one. It's an eight by eight piece. You cut it down a little bit and then I cut along one of the ridges in the book to create a pocket so you can slip tags behind it. Next page, another envelope page. There's lots of little envelopes and things in here for collections. You have the, um, I don't know, is this a fox or, I think it is, I'm not sure. A wolf, no, I'm calling it a fox. I think it's a red fox. In my head it is. And on these, on some of these envelopes, a couple of them, they're really tall, so what I do is fold up the edge, staple it to create a pocket. So you have a pocket here. And then inserted another tag. And I left the back of this one um, pretty much open so that you could slip more photos or more tags behind the envelope. Again, all these instructions are in your kit. On this next page, I wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, and so I took the page itself and cut it down so that one page becomes two tag flips. One flip, two flips. And you can use these for either journaling or small photos. I thought that would be fun. And then I saved these pieces that I cut out of the middle of this page 
and use them on the next page on this particular page is a belly band again with another little uh, image from the Stim Holt, Tim Holtz stamps and the piece that I cut off from the center of the tag page I've used down here and decorated it as um, a belly band stopper so I like to do that on a lot of my belly bands if you've done my other books you know that it stops anything from falling out and I like that okay next page have to have fish in here for the fishermen in your life and this one is also made into a pocket and I've included another envelope decorated with some chipboard from the kit and that gets inserted into the pocket and this page, again, I um, continue with the theme of the fish. I don't know about you, I don't fish, but my husband fishes and he makes his own lures. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to include a muslin bag and maybe hook a couple of his favorite lures on here or one of the lures that he made. This is also a belly band, so you can um, put some tag or journaling behind it. And some of these, get, try to get a little closer, some of these uh, tags and chipboard in this kit are in Spanish. So for my Spanish-speaking friends, you'll enjoy that. This company, Stamperia, is out of Spain, and so a lot of their things are in Spanish, but I love that. And this one says, everything connects to everything else. If you want to translate the tags, because there's some beautiful expressions in here and sayings, all you have to do is Google the expression in Spanish and it will translate it to English for you. Next page is a side pocket. Beautiful images from Stamperia. And then I've created a little insert. Whoop! has a life of its own and this is just a little card insert so you can use it again for journaling or photos and I just want to get an up close image these are so pretty chipboard elements next page has more chipboard elements with a side pocket and a journaling card or photo mat. Next page. Uh oh, I'm losing. I just lost my little tab. I have to add that. Um, next page is a belly band. And I love these images of the deer. So pretty. Tuck spots behind the belly band with a photo mat and a journaling card. Look at this too, they're pretty. And then the next page, and this is where I lost this, little thing came off the envelope, so I'll just glue that back on in a minute. But this is a large envelope, obviously. And I've done some collage work on this envelope not too much, just to wet your whistle with collage. I tore these pages. If you're not happy with tearing, because I know some people aren't, you can definitely cut, the, cut them out. I like to tear, and I did cut the deer out. So just a little bit. This envelope is perfect, again, for collecting things. Oh, and I did leave <clears throat> the back of the envelope open <clears throat> so you could tuck some things behind there. Okay, this next page is a flip, and I've used this leaf um, chipboard. <clears throat> I tagged it on, <coughs> excuse me, tagged it on with a little brad, flipped to the side, and this opens up. So room for journaling or photos.
And then the last page is actually the inside cover. Another envelope for collecting. I've again uh, folded up the bottom, add staples to close up the pocket, journaling cards, place for photos or more journaling, our collections, and this is left open in the back so you can slip something in. And then the back cover is just a collage of all the animals that you might find in the forest or in a park. Hopefully not a bear in a park, but I guess it depends on where you live. And that is your book. So I hope you enjoy it. The kit will be available. Oh, I have to glue that too. Oh my goodness. See, we all make mistakes. Um, the book is available exclusively at the Button Farm Club. See you later, and thanks for looking. Bye.